Star Talking Galaxy of Horrors, a 2017 science fiction horror anthology movie. Now, when I first saw this, I actually thought it might be a remake of the somewhat classic, shall we say, 80s movie Galaxy of Terrors. Alas, it isn't. Just a similar sounding name. So Galaxy of Horrors basically has a wraparound story of this guy sort of trapped in an escape pod in space with a computer showing him a variety of kind of short science fiction films to keep him occupied during his escape, hence the kind of the reason for these short films. Now, as with most anthology films, it's a very much a mixed bag. Now, they all have a obviously a science fiction spin on it. Uh, some are kind of science fiction horror, more or some are just more sort of straight science fiction. Um, I've got to say... Um, a lot of these films, I, I, I will say, I didn't necessarily like, but they were quite well thought out and had actually a, quite a lot to say. Had a quite a lot of kind of subtext, be it, uh, you know, um, political kind of metaphors and things like that, while some of them were kind of more kind of just straight sci-fi. The two that stood out for me in particular was the the very last one, which is basically is actually a German film. So some of these films aren't even in English. Uh, where you have these kind of two sort of drug dealers kind of going into this club and we find out there may be some kind of alien situation going on there. And there was uh, another one that was, I think, I believe the sixth film, and that was kind of like a deep space film, which actually I would say is the strongest. It had a kind of like a proper arc to it and we have, have you know, a beginning, middle and end uh, with somewhat well-defined characters. So that to me was the best one. And that's where, uh, you know, a guy's waking up from cryo sleep and there's problems with the... Uh, uh, the spaceship, and but it all is not what it seems. Now, this is very much in the kind of the vein of uh, the kind of the Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, I guess Black Mirror to a certain degree. Um, now, some of these films, I, I, I have to be honest with you, I found quite confusing. Obviously, it's a very kind of short, short amount of time. The first one in particular, I found, I didn't know what the hell was really going on with this film. It's, uh, you know, this one out of all of them, I think it's probably, maybe has the most to say. But ultimately, because of the kind of the short time frame, I think it just tries to cram a little bit too much in. Uh, some of them just seem pointless. There's one involving a kind of a female astronaut in, in sort of like gravity, basically, who's kind of lost in space. It just seemed kind of pointless to me. Um, there are two strong ones, a couple of okay ones, and some of the ones I just thought were kind of, you know, quite conf quite confusing, to be honest with you. But all of them, I mean, some of them are actually quite or Orwellian, I, I would actually say. They actually have uh, uh, one which is very much kind of a 1984-type a um, situation going on in it. Uh, so I think if you are a literary sci-fi fan, then there may be something to enjoy here. If you are kind of more of just a kind of like Independence Day type sci-fi fan, then I think maybe not. It, I think some of these films may have benefited from a longer format. Uh, ultimately, I do feel some of them are just a little bit too tr truncated for their own good. But nonetheless, it's an interesting mix of science fiction films. Uh, you know, there are definitely some good variety here. It is somewhat gory. Uh, so if you're not a fan of gore, then, you know, if you're not a horror fan, then this might not be the anthology for you. Um effects and everything and performance every, obviously all kind of a mixed bag here certainly not a bad effort i would say i preferred it over the uh, more recent uh, double x anthology that i kind of saw although these films are obviously a bit shorter overall i give this movie a, a six out of ten certainly wasn't bad the, the, at least there were some original ideas here i've got to say uh, and, and some real kind of maybe things you haven't seen before so six out of ten for me have you seen it what did you think of it so leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.